I don't have any opportunity to move Madman, and I'm back. And today will be exciting, I hope, because today we're continuing with our MCU subject, but a bit more positive now. So today we're going to talk about Captain America, the Winter Soldier in 4K. So obviously there's not a lot that I'm going to tell you about this film because you've probably already seen it and if you haven't, you probably haven't seen it because you're not interested. Uh, but hey ho, this is Captain America, The Winter Soldier. This is the second Captain America film. This is the 4K disc there, it's a back cover. It's got a really nice slip cover on it as well with the original or one of the original posters artworks under there. A nice little, nice little cover, this is one of the new the new covers they did when they were doing a new promo thing to try and get people to buy more of them and then they stopped doing it after phase three so that would have been really annoying for everyone that collected them and then phase four's all got different ones but I don't make those sort of decisions but we'll take this off. Uh, the back cover here is a bit different to the back cover of the slip so I'll show you that as well and we'll have a look at the discs. So yeah they look quite nice don't they? Yeah. The new artwork on this disc here and the old artwork on this disc here, so quite happy with that. Uh, so obviously I've seen this already, didn't have to take the plastic off because I've had it for a while. Uh, I've seen it on Disney+, Plus. I've seen it in 4K on here. Not one of the IMAX enhanced versions on Disney+, Plus, so I still go to say the 4K disc is better. Um, this is probably one of the only films where you see Captain America running out of a rolling car. Had a lot of, lot of fun with this film. Actually, it's really good fun. A lot of people were a bit like the Winter Soldier wasn't very good. Uh, comparing it to Civil War, it's obviously not as good as Civil War, but I still enjoyed it as a film on its own or part of, you know, a bigger thing. Yep. Uh, so yeah. Bucky Barnes is introduced as the Winter Soldier in this one. He's the bad guy technically in this one, even though he's not really the bad guy. Robert Redford is probably more the bad guy. This couple gets a bit confusing, but it doesn't matter. It wasn't directed by Christopher Nolan, so it shouldn't be that hard to keep up with. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like I said, I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm not gonna go on and on, tell you the same thing over and over again. He's good. All right, it's a good film as part of the MCU. It's a good film in general. All right, so if people are like, oh, don't watch The Winter Soldier, it's not very good. They're lying. Either that or they watched the whole film with their eyes closed. And they didn't see the good bits because their eyes were shut, which would be a bit pointless, I think, watching a film with your eyes closed. But there are a lot of people that do that because a lot of people watch really good films and then they say that they were rubbish. So they obviously had their eyes shut or their fingers in their ears or they didn't watch it like there are a lot of people that say films are crap before they've even seen them don't know how don't know how you can do that because you need to watch it before you can before you can give your opinion can't you you can't really give an opinion on something you haven't experienced yourself pretty sure i've said that before yeah you can't can you nope all right so obviously i'm not going to spend 10 minutes talking about a film that you know about but that doesn't matter I'm still I'm still here a uh, fresh video today filming this today editing it today and putting it online today I do still have a backlog of stuff to show you as well so I will be getting them out too uh, but yeah uh, been told to tell you about my stories don't know why people said that I should mention it on here so I'm mentioning them on here I am also a writer as well as a geek that talks about blu-rays I also write stories I've written stories for my friends about my friends including myself as well as some of them that aren't including my friends and myself but yeah if you like a little a little horror story or something that's slightly funny I've got a little story about a birthday party that goes wrong I've got story about a mysterious box that that's not finished yet so you can't 
me, but I've also got me and my friends are planning on making a documentary, well, a mockumentary about amateurs that don't know how to act and are trying to make a sketch or two sketches or something like that. I don't remember, I wrote it, but whatever. So yeah, if you are interested in any of that, just let us know. I can send you some stuff if you want to do some reading. Not that people that watch films like reading, but still, we'll find out, won't we? Just give us a comment, or yeah, that's probably how you would do it. Yeah, leave a little, little, and I'll, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna shut up now, because pointless talking still. Um, if you could like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna fuck off okay goodbye